My God. My time has come. play the game with, with this, so um, I'll just uh, leave you down there. Hello everyone, my name is George, and welcome to Vulcanoids. Vul Vulcanoids, Vulcan... This game looks really fun. I saw this on um, Yobscast Duncan's channel, and instantly fell in love with it because I, I, it looks so steampunk and I fucking love steampunk so much, man. Uh, you may also notice I've changed from the, uh, the intro video. Um, yeah, it's the day after I filmed that intro video and I'm wearing half of that stuff to a wedding in a bit, so I don't want to get it greased or anything. But anyway, enough chit-chat. Let's do this. A wondrous place. Ooh. A rich and prosperous island. Home to a busy trading port. That was not meant to last. It began when strange formations like giant soil tracks started to appear across the island. No one was able to explain how they were made. Soon after the formations appeared, earthquakes followed. Weak at first, hmm. they grew more frequent and more violent. A few days later, three volcanoes erupted in the island lagoon. Hurling stones, sinking ships. Honestly, you wait all this time for one volcano and three the fucking go off at once. The safety of their vessels. All trade stopped. People left to drain us aboard fleeing ships. Can't say I blame them. There were volcanoes. Soon regretted their decision. An enormous volcano that lay dormant for centuries erupted, flooding the island with a pyroclastic wave, covering it with lava and hurling stones miles away. Those who had made it to the ships were evacuated, myself among them. What we left behind was an apocalyptic landscape of fire and dust. Periodic eruptions turned our beautiful home into a hellish nightmare, disrupting both naval and aerial traffic for years. Despite their best efforts, not even the best imperial geologists were able to explain the volcano's sudden appearance. Several years later, exiles from Adrenos secured funding for an expedition to return to the island and discover what happened. It was my honor to serve as the captain of the Archimedes submarine. As we surfaced a safe distance from Adrenos' shore, we knew that this expedition to reclaim our homeland had only just begun. Hmm. I have to say, you must feel a little bit like awkward like the volcano is laid dormant for centuries and it erupts once and it becomes a regular like every 20 minute occurrence that's got to be some pretty bad timing there <laughs> obviously i love the designs of the enemies here the uh, i think they're called the cogs they just look really cool again i will probably spend most of this gushing about the steampunk aesthetic because i again i can't i can never get enough steampunk can't tell whether you can tell that. Let's do this. Alright. Here we are. Ten minutes of looking around. Talk to the captain. Let's go. What ho, captain? Uh, craft drill ship core. Good day, sailor. Before we can continue with the expedition, you will have to construct a device. Follow the given objectives and you will soon be piloting your own drill ship. Main quest above, get drill ship upgrade to player inventory. 
Uh, leave to gather resources. Okay, let's head out. So just okay. Ladders are easy. Hello. Press two to equip pickaxe. Yeah, let's go. Got some coal and some copper. Nice. Just have a listen to it. Yep. <laughs> PC struggling a touch, but hopefully it won't do what it did with uh, We Happy Few and crash on me. If you're watching this video, I'm assuming it didn't. Uh, let's grab some copper scrap. Yes. Can I run? I can run. Good. God, I've got nine and a half minutes till the first eruption. Again, I have seen a bit of the gameplay of this, so I know what some stuff looks like. But. I mean, this game looks too much like my my aesthetic anyway to not play it. So you're pointing over there, but there it is. There's one up here. <laughs> Ooh, more copper scrap. Nice. Thank you. That is a powerful sounding pickaxe, can I just say? Ooh, environmentalist. Press 2 or that key to unequip pickaxe. I will in a second. Let me just grab some more coal. Fifty percent of the way there for like gathering. I guess it's just typical resources. But yeah, ah, oh, these are so pretty. I love the designs. They're just ah, oh, steampunk. It's so cool. It's one of my two favourite of the punks. Closely second is obviously Cyber. Mm -hmm. Alright, uh, I'll put it away and return to the sub. Down we go. Uh, storage module, is that that one or is it? Oh, there it is. Deploy the storage module. Oh, I could have clicked it, never mind. Uh, in here? Okay, let's stick in the all of the coal and copper. And since I'm not going to need it, let's stick the copper scrap in there. Press the L key. Quest windows contain all active quests. You can decide to abandon the quest. You can hide quests from showing up in the HUD. Press enter to end this message. How do I get out of this screen? Up. Oh. I hit the L key. Okay, it shows me my current objective. Gotcha. Uh, deploy storage module, okay, the power module and the refinery, where are they? Here they are. Refinery deployed, and uh, the power module deployed. Now let's refine some copper. So that, there it is. Okay, so click on the conversation, select copper ingot. Uh, I'm just going to, probably not all of them actually. Oh god, how do I stop it? How do I stop it? Uh, there we go. Okay. Uh, go to the production module on the wall and click it. Production is on. And now... Okay, bolts, tubes and plates. That's here. Some components. Okay, so I need three bolts. Uh, six got plates and glass. I got you my seven there, but that's fine. And three of these. Boom. Uh, click on the menu button on the production station. Oh, menu production station. Select upgrades and make. Uh, ship's core TI, which is you. Fill the main margin. Consumables, and I need the module repair or the breach repair. Okay, that's you. Need three of those. Uh, modules. Good God. Uh, and it is the production module T1. Production T1. And the refinery. I'm guessing that's you. And a door module. Oh, whoops. 
and a refinery. And boom. Energy, you can skip this message by pressing enter. Energy is needed to have production running. Look at the core stats panel. Energy indicator shows available points. Balance indicator shows the difference between input and output. If you have no power plants opened, energy will go down and balance will be negative. If enough power plants opened, energy will go up and the balance will be positive. Gotcha. And we've got four, just over four minutes. Let's enter that. Oh god, I think I almost skipped another one. <laughs> um, every module occupies a slot. Core slots indicators show you available number of slots. If you reach the limit, you won't be able to add any more. First, uh, you first have to close modules to open others. You can skip this message by pressing enter. Okay. Uh, where is the core module? Ah, oh, here it is. Core slots. Okay. Thirty out of a hundred. And energy consumption is at a balance of one. Okay, that's fine. Yeah, so now I need to close some refineries. One and two. Okay, let's turn them down to that now. Full energy. We have closed modules. Energy bar is full. Balance has no negative output. Sweet. Right. Now what? Available source. More slots are now available. If we open the modules, they will be occupied again. Okay. Pick ships call from storage. Where's storage? There's storage. Uh, click the menu button. Where is ship's call? That one? Do that. We've got the breach repairs, the door module, the refinery, and the production bay. And talk to the captain.